So now, in this video, we're going to look at the Zener diode, and this one says C9, I know it's uh, hard to see there, but uh, V1, and these are my cheaper Zener diodes, I think the ones in the semiconductor kit, you can see the part number a little easier, but in any case, they are in baggies, this is 4V1, again, the writing is not the best. The semiconductor kit, they are labeled a little bit better. But uh, they, they're labeled by part number, but they also give you the voltage. So in any case, the thing with Zener diodes, we have 18 volts, just a tad bit less, at the power supply rail right there. And so we have, for each of these, a resistor to the positive rail and then a Zener diode reverse biased and each one of these has a different Zener voltage we will look at that coming up but you can see they come together there and then the Zener diode goes to the negative rail and so first we will come to this point here you can see it's outputting 4.7 volts these are 2.2 kilo ohm resistors by the way 2200 ohms the uh, labeling here uses the K for the decimal point because it's easier to see K than decimal point. So 2.2 K, 2,200 ohms of resistance because we're using 18 volts at the power supply. So that first Zener diode we looked at is a 4.7. Again, they're using the V in place of the decimal point and the handwriting is hard to read, but it's 4.7 volts. The second... Zener diode over here, it says 9.3, it is that 9.1 volt Zener diode we looked at. So the voltage will shift a little bit with current, especially depending on its value. But for the most part, it's, this one's even harder to see, 9V1 for 9.1 volts. And then the third one, let's look at the voltage first, 12 volts right there. And we come here and see that it is just uh, slightly more than 12 but it's a 12 volt Zener diode so again the amount of current going through it will alter its value a little bit but it stays pretty close so that's what the Zener diode does we reverse bias it so the cathode is towards the positive side of the circuit usually the cathode is to the negative side of the circuit and uh, you can usually tell the cathode of a diode that's not an LED by a stripe at one side. So there you can see the stripe comes to the resistor which goes to the positive rail. The anode, the side without a stripe, goes to the negative rail. And what it does, it blocks voltage up to its Zener voltage and then so it doesn't let current flow up to its Zener voltage and then once it gets to its Zener voltage it lets current flow. It lets whatever current it needs to to flow to hold that voltage where the collector is and so you can use that to quickly set a voltage in part of a circuit again the amount of voltage across it and the current the loads taken and everything can influence it so it's better to use this with uh, loads that uh, don't take current or send it to an amplifier to provide the current just look at the voltage here but it uh, it's pretty pretty reliable that it will set the voltage about spot on its Zener value so that's the Zener diode pretty simple interesting component and uh, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one